Hey guys, welcome to episode six of The Business Scientist. And today I'm gonna to be talking about the most common sources of data that I use for solving business problems. So this is gonna be a fun one. I'm gonna share my screen with you so you guys can all see what we're gonna cover. So when we're talking about business problems, one of the most challenging parts is finding good data. So good data consists of three things. First, data that answers a question. So you have to have a hypothesis and that will drive which data sources that I normally go to. Second, data that is clean or it can be cleaned. So most data is what we call dirty. It's got a lot of missing values. It has uh, just things that are wrong with it. A lot of, a lot of times it's text data. Um, maybe it was done through a manual entry process and uh, it just has errors and things that are inconsistent. So we have to be able to mine that, we have to be able to correct it, and we can do that with certain techniques. So um, it needs to be clean. The third thing, data must be accessible, meaning you or your company has access to it and you can get it um, and you have the security and um, it's not proprietary data, it's something that you can actually access. So we're gonna talk about all three of these and I'm gonna give you the most common sources of data that I actually use to solve business problems. So I'm gonna switch over here. Um, I'm gonna head over to my book and I actually have a little section that I wanna show you on this. Um, this is everything you should already know about data scientists, um, or excuse me, everything you should already know about data science, that's my book. Um, on page 48, I have this visual here. Um, and this visual is part of this process of measuring drivers, which involves collecting data and then developing what are called key performance indicators. And those are the things that business leaders and stakeholders care about things like, you know, customer churn um, rates or um, revenue drivers or, or those things. So once you have an idea of uh, a hypothesis, a question, you know, maybe um, something related to uh, uh, churn or something like that. And then um, what you're going to do is you're going to figure out what those KPIs are and you're going to also collect data to help you understand the drivers. So these are the sources that I normally go to. So there's four sources that I'm gonna cover real quick. Uh, competitor data. So that is a data source that is normally online where competitors will have things like product prices out there, or maybe you can, um, you can learn from your competitors through web scraping off of their websites and collecting information that way. Um, the second one is supplier data. So a lot of times you have suppliers and you uh, know information, those are inputs to your process. So supplier data can be very valuable if, um, if you're measuring things like quality issues, if you're measuring lead times, if you're measuring um, things like that that can affect the customer experience. Um, those, those are things you can measure with supplier data. Uh, then there's ERP data, and that stands for Enterprise Resource and Planning. And what that is, is that's a database that your company maintains where you've got all sorts of customer data. So that's things like, you know, what products are your, is your customer base, are they buying? Uh, what times of the year are they buying them? Uh, and, and so on. So you have a lot of information there on your customers in the ERP data set, database. And then there's also, um, and this is for special types of problems, especially if it's related to HR, uh, there's personnel data. Now, a lot of times you, you may not have access to this because that's uh, oftentimes confidential information, but when you're answering um, certain types of questions related to human resources, uh, your employees uh, of that company, then um, you're gonna need access to the personnel data. All right, so there you have it. Those are some of the data sources that I commonly use when I'm doing consulting projects or when I'm uh, working with uh, businesses. Uh, these are uh, my main data sources. And yes, there's tons of other data sources out there, but again, these are just aimed to be uh, ma uh, mainly the, the most common, right? So, um, if you want to uh, learn anything more um, about what I talked about here, uh, for those who are interested, I highly recommend my book, Everything You Should Already Know About Data Science. I will leave a link to it in the comments. Uh, you're welcome to grab a copy of it.